What's up guys, Patrick here, welcome back. Moving on to the next example, dealing with the sum and difference of cubes. This is a pretty cool question. We gotta prove that this expression, x to the power of nine plus y to the power of nine, all to the power of two, is equal to all of this. And to do that, we're gonna be using the uh, sum of cubes formula throughout. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna work with this side here, this left side and I'm going to expand it, factor it, and I'm gonna to try to make it equal this right side. So if I take this left side, x to the nine plus y to the nine squared, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna write two brackets, like that, and then I'm gonna foil everything out. So x to the nine times x to the nine is x to the 18, plus uh, x to the nine times y to the nine. Notice that there's gonna be two of them, so when we add them, we would end up with two x to the nine, y to the nine, they're gonna be like terms. And then y to the nine times y to the nine is y to the 18. Okay, so notice that we took this, expanded it, wrote it as this, and now notice that we got this two x nine y to the nine, and we have that over here as well. So what we can do is we can rewrite this as x to the 18 plus y to the 18 plus 2x to the 9, y to the 9. So notice on this left side here, we have this expression at the end, and we got that same expression on the end here on the right side. So if you think about it, what we have to do is we have to just show how this now is equal to these three brackets. Because if we can show that this factors into these three brackets here, then we're gonna end up having those three brackets plus that expression. So we're gonna end up having that same expression on the left side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna rewrite it up here, just to give myself some room. So we got x to the 18 plus y to the 18. Uh, and then this plus two x nine, actually I'll just write it here for now. 2x9, y9. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to factor this x to the 18 plus y to the 18. So notice that I can take this and I can rewrite it as x to the 6 to the power of 3 plus y to the 6 to the power of 3. And then I got this plus 2x to the 9, y to the 9, like that. And now notice that this is a sum of cubes right, this here, where the a value is x to the 6, and then the b value is y to the 6. So this would be, if we take this a and b value and plug it into this formula, we would end up with x to the 6 plus y to the 6, and then we would end up with a squared, so x to the 6 squared is x to the 12, uh, x to the 6 times y to the 6 is x to the 6. Sorry, we are plugging in. This is a sum of cubes, so there's going to be a minus here. My bad. Uh, x to the 6, y to the 6. By the way, the way I caught that is usually with these formulas, this sign and this sign are going to be the opposite. So notice we got a positive and then the minus, and then a minus and a positive. So right away when I wrote a positive there, I knew something was wrong, right? So we're doing a sum of cubes here. So this is a minus there. Um, and then y to the six squared would give us y to the 12. Okay, and then we still have this two x nine y nine at the end. And now notice that this bracket is this bracket here. So notice how we're taking this left side and getting closer and closer to this full expression on the right side. And so we got this bracket, we got this expression. So really what we gotta do is we gotta take x to the six plus y to the six and show that it could factor into these two brackets. And notice that it can because x to the six plus y to the six, we can rewrite that as x to the two to the power of three plus y to the two to the power of three, like that. And so what we would have here is 
In this case, this is again a sum of q's, but the a value in this case is x squared, the y value is y squared. So we would end up with x squared plus y squared. And then um, x squared squared is x to the 4 minus x squared times y squared is x squared y squared. Uh, and then plus y squared to the power 2 is y to the 4. So this bracket factors into these two. Then we got to rewrite this bracket here, which is x to the 12 minus x to the 6, y to the 6, plus y to the 12. And then we got 2x to the 9, y to the 9, like that. And now notice that we made this side equal to this side over here, right? Notice that it's the same three brackets and then that expression at the end. Okay, so just a quick recap of the steps. We first took this, expanded it, got it to this, and then we took this expression, factored it as a sum of cubes, and then took this expression, factored it as a sum of cubes, and we end up getting that left side to equal that right side.